Well, welcome to Mast TV. And as every boater knows, the weather plays a critically important part in our operations. Yes, it does. And in this day and age, there's no excuse not to have an up to the minute forecast. In days past, the only ways in which to get a weather forecast was to watch the nightly news, read the morning paper, or tune in to VHF Marine Radio channels a few times a day. But now it's easy to stay up to date. There are many different internet sites and phone applications which paint an up-to-the-minute picture of what's happening. The Bureau of Meteorology's newest tool is MetEye, and it takes forecasting to the next level. You can plan your trip around the weather if you want to get back by 4 o'clock, but you can see a southerly change coming through around 3, then obviously uh, it'll be prudent to come home a little bit earlier, but it, it, it does enable you to get updates as well. Um, and also swell and uh, sea conditions as well as the wind, wind strength and angle. METI is unique in that it combines computer modelling with forecasters experience and local knowledge, meaning it's more accurate than other apps and internet sites. It's more fine a detailed product. A lot of the apps you, you just really don't know where they come from or, or what, um, what times they're putting on there, when the data was ingested. Uh, you know, so there's not a lot of uh, not say quality control, but there's not a lot of background information. METI provides seven day forecasts which are broken down to every three hours and no matter where you are in Tasmania, your weather forecast is just a mouse click away. A very, very useful resource this because of the detail, Nick. We zoom in and it looks pixelated, but it's not. No, those blocks, those are six by six kilometre square blocks mm. in the forecast. Now your typical phone app has a square but it's a 38 kilometre by 38 kilometre block so you cannot get the detail that you get on Meta. No, you can also click anywhere and bang, there it is, forecast, seven day forecast. Yeah, it's good. So you can click anywhere where we do a forecast and it will give you a, a three hour table of uh, wind, wave height, temperatures, humidity, rain, you know, it really is a fantastic tool and will give you about as complete a picture as you can get for any location really in Tasmania. Uh, take the central north forecast zone, it goes from Stanley across to Flinders Island and 60 nautical miles out to sea. So uh, you're getting a front crossing that and it might take five hours to cross. So uh, the forecast has to be vague, something like uh, um, northwesterly winds turning southwesterly in the afternoon. On Meta, you can go and have a look and you can see the arrows and you can see that, well, I'm in Burnie and it's gone through Burnie or it's expected to go through Burnie at, at this time. Uh, and so you, you get a bit more of an idea. This means you can plan your day better and be back at the ramp before a blow comes through, an essential tool for all Tasmanian boaties. If you're caught in bad weather, that's when things do go wrong. So if you can plan your trip around that to get back before the poor weather starts. Normally when one thing happens, you get a, a progressive things uh, going wrong. So it's always good to get back to the boat ramp or the marina or the morning before the bad weather kicks in. So consequently, use Meti and it'll give you an indication of what's coming up. <laughs>